What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This your girl, Nuthi. Stop playing. I just realized I didn't even do my intro for today. But of course. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for y'all who keep coming back. I love y'all. I keep telling y'all every time I fuck with y'all. Today, we're doing a get ready with me. I did a half up, half down with a swoop bang because we're about to go out to eat. What we about to eat at? Did my hair. I did my makeup. Bruh listen don't judge me either this is my real natural hair so it's like i don't add tracks i don't add like tracks in i do with what i have the edges that i got i gotta use whatever there is that's left it's not like weave where you could just cut how much edges you want and baby hairs you want to leave out or whatever like this is my real hair so it was a little harder for me it was kind of hard but I did the damn thing. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all later. Y'all forget 
Who that a ask me why? Can it be ask me question of Frankie guy? So how you a ask so shy? Me no be kitty but me da like a blind. Why? Just raise your foot up high, cause I, yes I, I believe you can fly straight to the sky. Between him and me, between your ties. Me no bad man, half a me no robbing guy. If you and I ever not to die, no shy when me stab it then you reply. Bite your lips and close your eyes, cause. Come bed, come floor against wall We sex them out till them call me I'm the girls them sugar that's all Welcome the king of the dance hall Come bed, come floor against wall We sex them out till them call me I'm the girls them sugar that's all Welcome the king of the dance hall Come here pretty girl Your body shape so good Let me introduce you to a piece of wood Beanie can I be a girl? I think you could but I Don't want to be misunderstood No mistake me no want no girl with only pretty face Me want the ticking and the bass and the body with the shape And the chimney with the bass Me the sound and the place Me the lie up and the case See the murder up and your bass This face This is no sitting place Me stand up and read no bow down and taste Me no run down now and no chicken chase She fin all the sex limit stop at 68 Me day a year put a wave Me some girl with air freight Cause the whole of them the fish a run down me body bay Natural baby juice and a concentrate You never know what's up in love Dr. Gray Bomb bed, bomb floor against wall We sex them out till them call me I'm the girls them sugar that's all Welcome the king of the dance hall Bomb bed, bomb floor against wall We sex them out till them call me I'm the girls them sugar that's all Welcome the king of the dance hall primer from revolution it does give you a very dewy finish so make sure that you don't apply a lot to your face really moisturize it in your face next I'm using my morphe foundation this shade is tan number 24 I still use my beauty blender I prefer using a beauty blender over a brush because I don't know for my face me personally it just the coverage just sits well with me I don't really like using a brush it's just too much um, I do apply foundation to my ears and my neck just to make sure everything is blended correctly. Um, it does give more of a natural look. And I do start with minimum foundation and I just like to build that foundation on my face. I don't like to start with too much because you can't take too much off but you can always add more. Now I'm using my concealer basically just highlighting the areas of my face that I want to be bright. Usually my forehead, my upper cheeks, under my eyes, and my chin. You can use a concealer that is a little bit brighter depending on your skin complexion, but me personally, it was going to be like a late night setting, so I didn't you know, want to do too much. But whatever you guys decide to do, just make sure you blend that concealer in with your foundation really good. Your face has to just flow. Make sure you blend, blend, blend. here is called clean color I'm just using this to set my face I can't tell you where the hell I got it from probably the hair store <laughs> but don't sleep on the hair store everything doesn't have to come from Mac and Sephora okay don't be bougie don't do that but it sets my face really good this is a bronzer I'm using just to bronze my cheeks a little bit I'm going in with a contour brush I just like using this just to give my cheeks like a little cut you know I, I know it's for contouring so you really should use some contour makeup here instead but bronzer for me works perfectly fine and I really don't like like a chiseled face I kind of want my face to still stay natural even though I have a full face of makeup so I just apply that 
same bronzer to the inside of my eyes right by my nose just to define my nose a little bit more and like I said I personally don't like contouring but you can do this instead now we are going to bake the face darling I am using the banana setting powder from Morphe to be honest I use any brush <laughs> that seems fit for me with whatever I'm doing so don't quote me on whatever type of brush that I'm using but I'm just patting it in under my eyes along my jawline and a little bit in my forehead and now I'm about to do my eyebrows I am using the elf instant lift brow pencil and the shade is deep brown so basically I just shade my eyebrows in I know it looks crazy I know it looks crazy right now but I just shade my eyebrows in and on the other side of the pencil it has like this little little sprule like a little brush i use that brush to shade the makeup in my eyebrows so it's not so dark you know and it has like that real dramatic fake look i hate that i like my eyebrows to look natural i mean unless i tint my eyebrows and that's something different but as you can see here, I shaded it a little bit too much and it, I fucked up. <laughs> so don't worry, don't get scared if you ever mess up. You can always take a little Q-tip and just clean that up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the setting powder in my forehead. I don't want it to be too bright. So I just do that in between doing my eyebrows. I'm using my concealer from LA Colors. Um, this is just to clean up my eyebrows. Remember guys, concealer is used for correcting and covering up any fuck ups <laughs> that you make to be honest that's really what it is so i'm just going over my eyebrows i like to start a little high and then move closer to my eyebrows because everybody knows if you go down too far in your eyebrows you make them thinner than what you actually want them so start high and then move slow like my face is done baking so I'm just patting all of that in with my brush and remember blend 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 and at this point I just remember like damn my mustache is still there so I, I forgot to conceal it so I put some concealer right there just to hide that until I see the wax lady but yeah just go ahead and fix that and then use the same brush that you set your makeup with just to blend that back in this cheek palette from Ulta Beauty is really nice I really like it um, I did fuck up and I used too much of that translucent color so I just like I told you guys you can always fix make sure you always put less than more so I was able to fix that blended that back in with my foundation and went back in with the right color that I actually wanted like I said I put a little bit and then I just add more and more as I go grab my contour brush with that bronzer on it and I just go back over it just to define that area again just in case if I went a little bit too overboard with the blush of course I gotta use my tape y'all y'all know I cannot do a wing eyeliner to save my life without help I don't give a damn I wasn't one of those kids that could color in the lines okay so this is um, a magic collection palette I'm pretty sure I got this from the hair store too I don't give a damn the colors were cute, so I bought it. So don't judge me, judge your mammy. Anyways, so I'm just going in with like this um, tan brown color. I should have showed you guys the color, but you can see it on my face. It's not a dark brown, and it does have like a little shimmer in it. I'm putting it on the outer parts of my eyes just to give my eyes like a little bit more depth. that I use to um, clean up my eyebrows with and I'm putting concealer on my eyelids just to do a cut crease I would highly recommend that if you guys are doing like really really bright colors and you would like to do a cut crease make sure you get a way lighter concealer or like even a white one I think I've seen like some white ones it'll make your colors pop even more but this is what I had and this is what I'm working with so we improvising okay So 
I just like to start low and build higher because depending on the type of look that you're trying to achieve, you don't want to make that cut crease too high on your eye. Next, I'm just mixing two different colors on two different palettes because I'm trying to achieve like this light blue color, but I don't have that actual color. So I have like a darker blue on one palette and white on another palette. So I was just mixing that together. At this point, I'm just getting frustrated with this brush because it's going way out of my cut crease. And it's like, duh, these people do have different size brushes for a reason, Nuti. But anyways, I found the smaller brush that I should have used from the beginning because as you can see, my eyeshadow went outside the lines of my cut crease. But that's fine, I'll fix that later. But it also is applying to my eyelids way better. Now I'm just using my e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. The color is the blackest black, blackity, blackity, black, black, black. And like I said, see, when you use your tape, I know it's cheating, but it works. Then I just go back over my face, cleaning up any little loose powder that fell onto my face. Blended, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Now we are going to apply lashes. Oh my God, I cannot stress enough how much I hate strip lashes. And we're not even going to talk about the burn on the side of my neck from the damn wand curler. But anyways, I'm applying mascara. You put mascara on first before you apply your lash. I like to do it from the bottom of my lash and the top because it'll cover up any um, loose powder that fell on your lashes while you're putting on your eyeshadow. So you grab your lash, put your glue on your lash. Um, a lot of girls do put their lashes on with their fingertips, but I have like this little, these little tweezers. You have to be very careful because those things will poke your freaking eye out, but I'm not a professional yet, so I have to use them. And make sure you just pull the lash onto the corner of your eye and the inside of your eye second. But like I said, make sure you be very careful with these type of tweezers because they will, see, see what I'm saying? They will fuck you up. And then you just push them down together to make sure that they are attached to your actual eyelash. And don't forget to put the strip closer on your lid. You don't want to place them directly on your eyelash. That's how you end up looking like a bald cat real fast, real quick in a hurry. And we ain't trying to do that because when you ain't got no lashes and your edge is struggling, baby, that ain't no good look. That ain't no good look, okay? started my makeup and some of them kind of fell at the bottom but that was fine I just tweezed my hair out a little bit with my fingers and then I wand curled the bottom again before I left out of the house but I just I'm just pulling them apart you know like just really soft it looks like I'm really going in but I'm really not <laughs> so like I said this is my natural hair you know I didn't have any extra packs or anything like that so I'm just going in with what I got and using the God-given beauty God gave me or oh, totally almost forgot to use my revolution hydrate and fix fixing spray and of course my L'Oreal Lumi Shimmerista I, you know y'all know I love this highlighter I love this highlighter it is so rich and cute now don't get me wrong this bright ass light from the top of my forehead is not given my makeup is not really given as much as it's supposed to be given but I'm, I'm dead serious like my makeup was on point I'm gonna get better lighting for you guys soon trust me don't worry I already ordered my makeup chair and desk and lights because this is not given but I still gave Last but not least, we're going to add this matte lipstick. I did put like a brown pencil liner on first. I added this matte lipstick on top. And then after that, I went in with this Lip Plump High Shine Gloss. It is very glossy. As you can see, I love the way it smooths my lips out. And it does kind of make your lips a little bit bigger, but I didn't really buy it for that. I just like this shade that they had it in. 
the real damn problem is why the hell did I ball up my Louis Vuitton scarf on my damn head like it ain't cost $500 but whatever this is the look for today so now I'm about to go get ready I do have a date tonight with my baby daddy I was gonna include it in this video but I was like you know what some girls probably just came here to see how I did my makeup and how I did my hair and get the fuck on so I will put it in my next vlog so don't forget to subscribe before you leave Never, never said never, never said never